All right, hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Truckmaster channel. Today I'm gonna to show you an installation video on uh, how to properly install a 20 inch light bar. And this light bar is actually made by Nylite, it's called, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description on where you can buy this thing at. Um, but they're actually pretty inexpensive. You're looking at anywhere between, you know, 26 to about $50. Uh, and then, you know, the wiring kit's separate, and I'll go into that as well. Um, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this unboxing really quick so you can see exactly what's going on here. All right, it's made by, uh, first off, it's made by Nylite, okay, right here, N-I-L-I-G-H-T. I already, I already cut the tape right here just so uh, I don't have to do it in the video. All right, it looks like, I don't know if this is instructions or, okay, this shows all the different types of models that they uh, have on display here that they sell on their website. And you can actually purchase this on Amazon as well, and I'm sure eBay and other various websites. Okay, it looks like the uh, mounting brackets right here, and these actually look pretty cool. It looks like uh, there's a slider right here, so it actually slides up and down. So that's pretty neat. All right, comes with two mounting brackets and some hardware there. Okay, here it is. You know, just by the feel of this uh, product here, when you pick it up, it actually it's pretty heavy, and that's a good sign. I mean, it's not cheap and uh, plastic. Cause I've, uh, you know, I've had other light bars before where they're pretty cheap just from the way you, you know, you pick them up and feel them. Okay. Yeah, I don't need any of that. All right, let's see this. We'll start off with the wire here. Pretty uh, heavy duty gauge right there. Pretty ni nice and thick. I like that. And apparently, this, this light bar, bar right here is actually waterproof, so you can actually dunk this thing in water while it's on. You know, of course, you don't want to get the electrical cables wet, but uh, you can dunk this thing in the water, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a good sign, you know, this thing will last a long time when it's raining and, you know, in, inclement weather, weather like that. So, uh, all right, so it looks like, let me, let me get a close-up here. Looks like you got these little, these little bevels right here, right there, and then... It's pretty neat. It's almost like a jewel. If you can see that. So there's some bevels right here. Looks like they're for the floods, and then you got the spot right here in the middle. All right. And then you got these again mounting brackets. And from the looks of it, it looks like you can, the way it's designed, it'll actually go up and down. So pretty uh, durable unit. But we'll see when we actually get it on the truck. Okay. So this particular. Uh, truck that I'll be installing this on is my uh, 2007 Chevy Silverado and this is actually a, the classic body style because I know in 2007 they also came out with the new body style which is 2.7.5 or 2007.5 and they, you know of course the half tons and the three quarter tons and uh, 2500 HDs and whatnot so this is the classic body style and uh, I know a lot of guys actually cut into their bumper okay um, I don't really want to do that you know uh, so I actually had this bull bar laying around my garage for a long time a buddy of mine gave it to me for free and I'm not really a big attachment guy you know obviously you know if you're new to my channel go ahead and look at some old ones uh, I don't really like to put a lot of things on my truck I like to kind of keep it plain um, but I think this will actually fit the bill so I actually had to take out my tow hooks you know if you have any questions about that leave that in the comments and I can even do a video on that as well if you'd like me to but they're pretty simple three bolts pull out the tow hooks uh, tow hook bolts um, but what I'd like to do is actually install this 20 inch light bar. I'd like to install it right in the uh, bowl bar. I think it looks really sharp. I've seen other people do it before. So, uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is where I want to put it. I don't want to take the, the bowl bar off and then try to mount it on the bottom or inside the grill or, or whatever. I'd like to actually keep it out. And since this is a waterproof uh, uh, design that Nylai actually made here, I think this will be pretty durable for what I'm trying to do. And uh, this is actually 126 watts. So, and you know, I don't have a whole lot of specifications on this type of light bar, but I think this is going to be perfect for what I'm trying to do. All right. And uh, the guys at Nylite sent me a uh, wiring kit as well. And uh, no instructions. So I'm going to do the how-to video on that. Okay. Also, I'm going to leave a uh, I'm going to leave a card right here in the video. So make sure you click on that. I actually did a full 50-inch curved light bar installation 
on this exact truck right here, which I actually took down because I didn't like the way it looked, okay? All right, now to actually line the light bar up with the, with the bar itself. Um, one thing that I noticed that I was a little concerned about when this part came in uh, to be able to mount it to the bar is the fact that um, the mounting uh, holes is actually here and here, and there's actually these little rubber grommets that you can pull out. Um, yeah, like that, basically. They come out and there's these holes right here, okay? So I was worried that these right here are fixed, but they're actually not, which is really neat. So they actually slide around, and uh, there's little, there's like a little alum screw right here that you can loosen, okay? Just like that, and they slide around. So basically, all I got to do is just line it up, and it's and it's centered, which is just just great. I mean, because I thought I actually had to drill into the bar itself in order to line up the hole. All right, so now it's time to install the actual brackets, the sliding brackets. Um, I'm going to actually use the slotted holes like I stated before. Now, look, if you're not actually installing it on a push bar on a truck or a Jeep or whatever you're trying to install it on, um, you're going to have to actually drill into your vehicle somewhere, you know, wherever the plastic may be inside. So just be mindful of that. There's some modifications done to it. All right, so a 17 millimeter is what you'll be using for this particular uh, kit. I'm going to go ahead and just use like a deep socket or a, an extension of some sort. Okay, so let me show you what I've been up to. All right, so uh, I got it on the slider bracket so you can actually slide this all the way down. All right, so look, check it out. Four bolts on each end. Okay, just like that. And uh, on the very back of it where those Allen bolts were that actually mount to the bracket. Now what you can do just find out exactly where you want it, okay? And then right behind it, you want to screw up that, you want to screw both alum uh, bolts to actually stiffen it up to where it won't go nowhere. So you can pitch it up and down, however you want to do it. And once you actually get it set, you want to go ahead and screw both uh, sides down. Let me show you. That looks level. Go ahead and tilt it, just like this. So I get behind there. All right, now that I got the Allen bolt screwed down in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it to where I want it. And it's not gonna go anywhere now. It's not gonna go left or right. It's centered where I want it. Now all I'm gonna do is just uh, s tighten the bolts on each end of the brackets and uh, this thing will be properly mounted. All right, that was actually pretty simple. And uh, everything is mounted up. Next comes the wiring. But that really wasn't that hard at all. And uh, really easy to center too. I like that, I like that a lot. All right, so this is actually gonna be my switch that I disconnected. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and take the, uh, the switch, pop the hood, open the door. All right, next, go ahead and unravel your wiring. All 
right, so again, this is going to your actual light bar, negative and positive. This right here, it's going to your battery. That's going to a ground of some sort. And at the very end, to your light switch. Very simple. All right, so next I'm gonna be wanting to find a ground somewhere. Uh, somewhere where I can actually attach this black wire to the frame of the cab or whatnot. So I'm gonna go with this bolt right here just because it's closest to the battery. And uh, you know, with the fuse block, um, I don't really have a whole lot of length, so that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to go ahead and ground it right here. All right, so next, go ahead and get your connector right here. Plug it right in. So at this point, what I'll be end up doing is... Uh, just running a zip tie through there and uh, tucking it inside the uh, engine bay somewhere where it's out of the way and uh, it looks clean all right so the only thing I have to do now is just uh, run this through the grill go ahead and find a spot where I can mount this part right here and attach it to the uh, positive terminal on the battery Okay, I got uh, most of the wiring routed already. Let me show you. I went ahead and just tucked in all the existing wiring, ran a zip tie around it, and uh, you know just shoved it up underneath there. But uh, basically, as you can see that black wire right there goes right through the door panel. Okay, and uh, I have it. I have it routed underneath here. Where the uh, fuse box is, right there. I got the red mounted to the battery. And this is my ground right here, right there. All right, the rest of my wiring, what I did is uh, I dropped it through there, and there it is, right there underneath. This is my light bar wire. All right, and then these are my two connectors that are going to the negative and positive. All right, so let me show you where I have my switch routed. Right there. Okay, I went right through the door jam, right through the panel, dropped it through there, wrapped it underneath, stuck it there, just like that, okay? And then, uh, you know, of course you're gonna wanna put that back on. Okay, next what you're gonna do is uh, just route this right through the grill. Just like that. All right, once you've done that, hook up red to red, black to black. Go ahead and uh, clean all the wiring up, zip tie it any way you need to, tuck it up underneath the frame, make it look nice, get all the wiring out of the way, make sure there's no friction when you're driving so it doesn't ground itself out, and uh, you should be good to go. difficult to actually install um, I really hope this video helped out a lot and make sure that you subscribe at the very end of my channel um, as I'm always doing updates upgrades and whatnot fixes on my Duramax Chevy Silverado and uh, if you know if you have a pickup truck a Silverado not even just a Duramax or even a Cummins a Dodge uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel um, I really hope this helps out but hey listen this product is great very very simple to install I really hope that the, the wiring that I showed you might have been able to clear some of your questions but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll make sure I get back with you as soon as I can. 
Um, other than that, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.